Salofa, Malale, Mbula and welcome to Season 4, Episode 71 of Breakfast Bites by TavoVosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on a beautiful, sunny and bright Monday morning, 13 March 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In Rugby Union, in all the excitement of the uh, Fijian and Fijian Drua game on Saturday, we missed the boring Six Nations, where England suffered a record 53-10 thrashing by France at Twickenham. And the Irish are one win away from a Grand Slam after outlasting Scotland 22-7 at Murrayfield yesterday. Meanwhile, Major League Rugby, currently a 12-team comp, is looking for US $100 million to surf the expected boost from the Rugby World Cup, the third biggest sports event in the world after the Olympics and the FIFA World Cup, is coming to the US in 2031 and the Rugby World Cup women's uh, in 2033. This after CVC Capital Partners bought a stake in the Six Nations in March 2021 and Silver Lake bought a stake in New Zealand All Blacks. In Rugby League, Fiji Mbati strongman Jacob Saifiti is set for a lengthy sideline stint after being sent off on uh, last yesterday's game against West Tigers for a coat hanger tackle on Tigers hooker Jake Simkin. And now faces a nervous wait before today's uh, charge sheet comes out. Without Kalen Ponga, Jaden Braley, both uh, in for HIA or out for HIAs, I should say, Tyson Frizzell and Jack Johns, both with ankle injuries, Newcastle did well to hold off the Tigers in a tense 14 12 victory at Leichhardt Oval. In football, England's women's soccer team landed another win off the pitch on International Women's Day. The UK government agreed to their request providing US $710 million over the next two years to create equal sporting access and two hours minimum physical fitness education per week for schoolgirls. In sports biz, Hernan Lopez, the ex-CEO of Fox International Channel, faces up to 40 years in prison after he was found guilty by a New York federal jury of wire fraud and money laundering. Charges related to the funneling of millions of dollars to soccer officials to bolster Fox's chances of securing FIFA World Cup and other soccer media rights. It was the latest verdict in the US federal corruption investigation into international soccer from 2015 that led to the ouster of longtime FIFA president Sepp Blatter. Remember him? More than 50 defendants have been charged around the world with more than 30 guilty pleas by individuals and corporations. Fox Corp, believe it or not, was not implicated in the case. Well, not yet anyway. <laughs> in boxing, what's my mother effing name? Tim Taizu, now uh, 22 and nil, with 16 by KO, yelled in sheer jubilation after he stopped American Tony Harrison in their WBO Super Welterweight Championship fight in Sydney yesterday, sending a statement to undisputed junior middleweight king Jermel Charlo. I'm coming to America. You know what's up. You know what's next, Tim Tizu called out. Charlo, who was ringside. Man, I'm ready, said Charlo, whose injured left hand is still healing. I'm a different animal in there. I'm a different fighter than Tony. So let's get it on. What's your name? For TaveOverSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Malo, vina'a and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all to Mars for all your love and support.